We're about to take you back in time. Welcome to the Pacific Northwest. While it is hard to tell when this incident happened, we can be sure it was sometime prior to the 1900s. Since this story comes from a tribe that shared their history orally, it could have originated hundreds if not thousands of years before it was published. This tale takes place in a tribal area that now covers northern Washington and British Columbia in Canada. Two native girls would be abducted by a pair of Sasquatch and be held captive for four years. And that is Freaky Deaky. Welcome back to the Freaky Deaky Podcast. If you're a fan of stories like this, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. If you would like to be alerted when we release a new video, kindly tap that button as well. This is the story of the Lighten Girls who were stolen by giants. A tale published in a 1917 book by F. Boas in the book Folk Tales of the Salesian and Sahoptin Tribes. This tribe was camped near Lighten in British Columbia, and there were two girls who made a habit of playing far away from their camp. They had been warned about giants who infested the area. One day, they were off far from camp as they were prone to do, when they were spotted by two giants. The giants grabbed the girls and put them under their arms and ran off with them to a house on an island in the middle of a large river, far away from the girls' people. The giants treated the girls kindly and gave them plenty to eat. At first they brought them grouse, rabbits, and other small game, but when they learned that the girls also ate deer, they brought them plenty of deer to eat. The giants were amused when they saw how the girls cut up deer, how they cooked the meat and dressed the skins. The first four days, the girls were nearly overcome by the smell of the giants, but they soon adapted to the stench as humans usually do. The girls lived with the giants for four years. During this time, the giants would carry them across the river to dig roots and gather berries that did not grow on the island. One summer, the giants took them far away to a place where the huckleberries were plentiful. They knew the girls liked huckleberries very much. They left them to gather berries and said they would go hunting and come back in a few days to take them back home to the island. The oldest sister recognized the place as not many days travel from their people's home and they ran away. When the giants returned for them, the girls were gone and they followed their tracks. When the girls saw that the giants were about to overtake them, they climbed to the top of a spruce tree where they could not be seen and secured themselves to the tree with rope. The giants lost their tracks and thought they might have hidden in a tree. They shook the tree many times, but the rope kept them secure. The giants left and the girls climbed down and ran on. The giants continued to search before coming to a place the girls passed and the pursuit was once again on. This time, as the giants came close, they hid in a hollow log covered by leaves and branches. The log was checked, but the girls remained hidden. After a while, the giants left and the girls ran as before and finally reached a hunting camp of their own people in the mountains. Once united, the girls told the people how the giants lived and acted. They were asked if the giants had names, and they said they were called... Yeah, they were asked if the giants had names, and they said they were called Somu Lamax and Sekatinu. Were these giants the legendary Sasquatch before the creature became the Bigfoot we know and love today? Was this just a tale told to children to keep them close and safe? Could this be an ancient version of the giants of biblical times? Or was this something else entirely? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. If you like hearing stories like this, do us a favor and hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. You can also hear us dive deeper into subjects like this and many others on the Freaky Deaky podcast. Find it wherever you get your podcast. New episodes drop every Thursday. Big thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more.